Hey, it's Sam Manor from Little's Travel Strains. We're at Spring Farm and we are working on an EJ1963 Holden, the Premier. I mean, have a look at this. It's got the still the Latino effect on it, the paint job. And what we're going to be doing is putting some seatbelts in it. Remember, this is a classic and we always say it's not plastic. And so I've taken the seats out the back here because um, you can see on the interior of the actual cast, you can see it's still that original interior in there. I mean, you'll eventually get it all reupholstered, but this is a classic. And I'm telling you, 63, there's the seats at the front here. That's what they look like here. Have a look at this here. Okay. Still the original trim. How I like working, you know me, by now I love working on absolutely classics. And what we're going to do in the back here, we're going to put the two static lap sash on either side. Um, also we're going to put a couple of anchor points, well we're going to put three anchor points for the grandkids, we've got five grandkids, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get into it. It has the old um, old classic seatbelts on it, which you can see here, they go on these ones here, they're the concourse webbing, okay, the old kind of... The buckles that they're using there was the old aviation buckles and that's all going to go i can't wait to see this thing restored but yes he did he chose to go with the classic seat belts the concourse webbing he's gone with the light gray what he's got in here and also with the the buckles he's gone with the holden the holden with the line emblem on it and looks really shmi i'm not going to show you right now but i'm going to show you on the next video how it all looks when it's all put together i'm sam we'll catch you on the next video now we've got two static lap sashes in the front and we've got two in the rear and one lap belt. So that's a five-seater. Now you've got to come and see this beauty. Come and have a look at what we've just done here. This is a seat belt where it hooks up onto the actual the static lap sash, which packs away nice and neat for the occupant. And look at this. Look at this chrome buckle. Get this camera over here and have a look at this chrome buckle with the holes in on it. How good does that look? I mean, seriously, I mean, why would you want to put a black seat belt in a car like this? Okay, but it gets better. Come and have a look at this in the back of the car. So you can see this. Put that camera inside there and have a good squeeze up there. Now this here, you can see here how it packs nicely. Also a way for the, for the statics, which is important because you don't want seat belts hanging outside the door, which is important. So you're able to hold, hook it up, pull it up nice and firm. And it packs away neatly. Again, look at this. It's a lap belt. Look at the concourse. Get the camera in here and have a good look at this. That's concourse webbing. That's what you call a classic webbing. Again, the hole and buckles. And on top of that, our mate Neil here has five grandchildren. Camera up here. Let me show you this. We have to put some anchor points in here. Now we've got the anchor points with the holes. They've got the uh, speaker hole already cut out. We have to brace across the speaker hole. So if you've got a speaker in the middle and you want an anchor point in the middle, it's not going to happen. It'll come out to put an anchor point in the middle. So we've got one, two, three anchor points. This is ready to go for his kids to get in there and have some fun. I'm Sam. I hope this has been helpful. And we'll catch you on the next video.